Fielu madin, fielu amarin, mabniyani, mabniyani. Fielu madin, fielu amarin, mabniyani, mabniyani. Fielu mudariyun is morabun. Morabun means it declines. Morabun, remember this, huh? Fail on Mudarion is more abun. It has three kinds of mood. What are they? It can be marfu, it can be mansu, it can be majzum, but never majru. Fail on Madin, fail on Amrin. Mabniyani, Mabniyani Fielu madin, fielu amrin Mabniyani, Mabniyani Fielu mudariyun is morabun It has three kinds of mood Fielu mudariyun is morabun It has three kinds of mood. It can be marfu, it can be mansu, it can be majzum, but never majrur. It can be marfu, it can be mansu, it can be majzum, but never majrur. Inshallah, you'll remember. Alhamdulillah. What is Lam. Okay. I will write down again, brothers and sisters. First I will write down Lan. What is Lan? That we did in lesson number 19. Harfu. Nasbin. Wa. Nafiyan. Wa. Is. Tik, ba, lin. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, what is lam? Hmm? I will start from here. Lam, harfu, jasmin. Mashallah. Harfu, jasmin. It will give jasm. To fail Mudariya. Huh? Arfu Jasmin. Wa Nafian. Negation. Okay? Wa Kalbin. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Arfu Jasmin. It will make fail mudharia. Majizu. Did we study uh, fail mudharia majizu? Yes. When la nahiya, huh? la nahiya tufidu amar. It indicates amar. Huh? But we won't call it amar. Huh? It is la nahiya. Amar is amar. La nahiya is is uh, negation huh? and will make the fail mudharia majizu. So this is another one. Lam is harfu jasmin. Harf will, it will make the uh, fail mudariya. It's a particle that gives jasm. And it negates. But what is kalbin? This is very important. Huh? Kalbin means it overturns. Huh? Kalbin means overturning. Huh? What does it overturn? It Overturns the meaning of mudariya into madi. That's all it does. Huh? You are using mudariya. The verb is mudariya, majizum, but your meaning goes to madi. Huh? Okay. Once we read sentences, it will become very clear.
What did I write, brothers and sisters? The last suit. What is the meaning? I did not go to the market. What did I write? Lam Azhab Elasuki. What is the meaning of Lam Azhab Elasuki? No, I did not go. Same meaning. No change in meaning. Huh? Okay? So you have two ways of making negation. In the Mahdi. In the Mahdi. Huh? What is the first one that we learned in the beginning of the book? Ma uh, azhab tu. Okay? And then you say, Lam azhab. I did not go. Ma azhab tu, I did not go. Lam azhab, I did not go. So what happened? Azhab is a mudarya. But the meaning overturned into madi. That is why we call it uh, kalben. Uh, is it clear, inshallah? Uh, with, with lam the verb will always be mudharya. But the meaning will be madi. And what is the best example of lam, brothers and sisters? What is the best, most? Lam yalid. <laughs> lam yalid wa lam yula. Huh? Both are majzum. How do you write? Lam Yalid. Okay. What is Yalid? Huh? What is Mudarya? And this is Lam Yu Lad. Huh? This is Majhul. So I'm not going to go into it, but later on we will learn, inshallah. What is the meaning? Lam Yalid. See, Yalid is a mudharia, but meaning is he did not beget, nor was he begotten. Past. Huh? Past. He did, he did not beget, nor was he begotten. Okay? Fine. So this is what it is. And I have got... So many examples to quote from Quran. Inshallah, I'll do it tomorrow. When I say tomorrow, I mean next class, which will be Monday, Inshallah. I will give you lots of examples, some beautiful, beautiful examples, Inshallah. And now, when you will read Quran, you will come across Lam and Lam, and you will stop and ponder and try to figure out what's happening in the sentence, Inshallah. Kaifaha luka ya ustad. How are you, ya ustad? What is the answer? Bi khair. What is bi khair? Jar majur. So what is it here? It's a khabar. Where is mubtada? No. Mazuf. It is dropped. What is the actual sentence? Ana bi khair. So ana has been dropped. It is understood that ana is there. If somebody says, Kaifa Hayaluka, Kaifa Hayaluki, if you say, Bikhair, means, Ana Bikhair. So, Muptada is dropped. Huh? Bikhair is, Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Ahmadullah. Ahmadullah. What is Ahmadu? I praise Allah. What is Mahdi? Hamida. Huh? Hamida. Mudarya. Yah. Madu. Yah. Madu. Sami Allahu liman. Hamida. Who? There is a mafulun bi also. Allah heard. The one who praised him. 
Now see, you don't, we normally say, Sami Allahu liman hamida. But it is hamida who? It is hamida who? Who praised him. Okay? By the way, you know, we have done Islam Mausula, brothers and sisters, and then we came to Ma Mausula. Do you remember? Ma coming as a relative pronoun. No, man is, can also come as a relative pronoun. Uh, like Allazi, man will also come later on. I'm just, uh, you know, throwing things at you. Some of you will remember, inshallah. When the time comes, we'll study in detail, inshallah. Ahmadullah, what is the meaning of Ahmadullah? I praise Allah. Ahmadu fi'alun mudariyun marfoon bi dhamma. Fa'iluhu mustatirun taqdiruhu ana. Allah mafulun bihi mansubun. Wa ashkuruhu. Wa ashkuruhu. And I thank him. Ana ma ara. Ara is mudariya. Ra'a. Yara, yara, tara, tara, ara, nara. Anama ara Harun. I don't see Harun. Alam yahdur. Hadara yahduru. To be present, to come also. Alam yahdur. Didn't he come? Has he not come? So see, lam goes to the Mahdi. Naam, innahu lam yahdur al yawma, yahdur al yawma, just to connect it. Brother and sister, look at it. Yahdur, what is yahdur? Failun, mudariun, majzumun, biskun. Wafail, mustatir, takdiru huwa. Innahu, you know what innahu is? In harfu tawqid, nasbin. Who is mu inna mansub? Where is the khabar inna? Lam yahdur, jumla failia. What is lam? You will describe lam. What is lam? Harfu jazmin, wa nafiyin, wa qalbin. If you write down harfu jazmin, it's good enough. But that's the whole story. It's easy, brother and sister. And what is yahdur? Fialun mudariyun, majzumun bi sukun. Fial mustatir takdiru huwa. اليوم وأين أصدقاء الصلاة تو أين أصدقاء الصلاة تو and where are his three friends هم أيضا هم أيضا لم يحضروا brothers and sisters what is this لم يحضروا they also did not come ها يحضروا Fialun, mudariun, majzumun, bihadfi noon, mashallah. See, how easy it is. It is, once you have the concept of noon aata hai, noon jata hai, which is technically called al-afwalul khamsa. You will remember that also, al-afwalul khamsa. So as soon as lam came, the noon dropped. Now remember one thing, brothers and sisters. Yahduru, will tell us whether it is mansu or majzum by the particle which will come in front of it. Lam yahduru, then the yahduru is mansu, lam. If you say lam, then it is majzum. So it's very easy, inshallah. We are, we are going to learn many more such things, inshallah. Atarifuna aina zahabu Translation, brother. Do you know where he, where they went? Azunnu, okay. Again, azunnu, fialun mudariya, marfoon bi dhamma. Fael mustatir takdiruhu ana. Okay. Azunnu anna hum, anna min akhwatu, inna hum, ismu anna. And then, khabar, anna is, zahabu ila mata. I think, that they went to the airport. Listik bali. What is the meaning of to receive? Raisi him, their president. 
So how will you describe Li after Istikbali, Isam Majrur, Wa Huwa Mudaf, Raisi Mudaf Ilayhi, Wa Huwa Mudaf. Allazi is a nat. Allazi yati. Ata yati. Who has come, al yawma, ila madinatil munawarati, li ziyarati masjidir rasuli, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Li harfjar, ziyarati isam majroor, wa huwa mudaf, masjidi mudaf ilayhi, wa huwa mudaf, and al rasuli, mudaf ilayhi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Akatabtum wajibati ya bunai. What is the meaning, brother? Katatum wajibati ya abunai. Did you write the homework? Did you write your homework? Naam, katabna. We wrote. But what is Ali saying? Ana lam aktub. I did not write. Change it with ma. Ana ma kataptu. What will you say? Ana ma kataptu. Change it with lam. Ana lam aktub. So you see the meaning? Same meaning. Huh? But brother, when you use lam, this is a very beautiful style. Huh? It shows refinement. A person, ordinary person will not use sentences like this, you know. But a scholar or a learned person or a person who has learned the language properly will I use sentences like that. And we also have to remember, brothers and sisters, that at the time of Prophet ﷺ, the Bedouin who used to live in desert, they spoke the most beautiful Arabic, not the city dwellers. So what used to happen? The people, the rich people who could afford, they used to send their tiny children to live in the desert, in the open, fresh air. Huh? And learn the culture and the language from the Bedouin. So our Prophet ﷺ was given to Bibi Halima. And she took and nursed him in the desert for a few years, you know. So they spoke the most beautiful Arabic, brother and sister. And this is where the Quran comes. What they spoke... Quran is better than what they spoke. And they understood that this language is not a work of a human being. This is somebody who is supernatural, can, all, can only produce this kind of a work. That is why Quran is a miracle. And miracle is its language, brother. Huh? It's language. When you translate in English, that miracle is gone. That miracle cannot touch you. So we have to learn the language to, uh, to receive the Quran in its original matan and it can touch our heart. And brother and sister, I always feel uh, if you speak a classical Arabic, I think that will be a great sunnah. <laughs> you are speaking like the way Prophet Wasallam and all the Asahabas spoke, brother. Pure language, eh? not polluted. Today, Arabic has become polluted, you know. And Allah knows, you know, inshallah, someday we will all speak beautiful language. Eh? But when we try to speak, we will make sure we do not pollute it. Any polluted word, out. We don't want to speak. We want to speak pure Arabic, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, so, Lima Lam Taktub. Ya Bhaiya, what is the translation? Why you did not write? Huh? So I can also say, Lima ma katapta. But when you say, Lima lam taktub, it sounds more eloquent, brothers and sisters. Li annani, what is the meaning of li annani? Because, lam afham darsa, lam afhamid darsa. So, brothers and sisters, here is li anna, which is anna is from akhwatu inna, noon vikaya, ya mutakallam ismu anna mansubun, okay, 
And where is the khabar? Jumla failure. Lam, you know what lam is? Lima, lam afam. What is afam? Failun mudarin majzumun. Fail mustatir takdiru ana. And what is the darsa? Mafulun bihi. Alhamdulillah. You are understanding beautifully. MashaAllah. Ma huwa shayyul ladhi, ma huwa shayyul ladhi, lam tafham hu. How beautiful it sounds, brother. What is the thing which you did not understand? See, again it goes to the past tense. Did not understand, fit darsi. Lam afham al farka bayna jumlatil ismiya. But I always laugh here. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, you know it. Huh, brother? We know the difference. Huh? Lam afham al farka. Farka mafulun. What is baina? Zarf. Baina is zarf. Between. Huh? Baina is zarf, brothers and sisters. Al jumlati is mudafilehi. And ismiyati is not. Okay, but jumlati mautufun ala the first one. Al-fi'alati is the naat. Now Abbas is saying, Kathirun minat tullabi lam yafahamu haza. Brother, I admire Dr. Abdurrahim. Honestly, every time I read this, I admire it. You know why? First we came to afham, tafham. Okay, now it is yafahamu. Okay, what is yafahamu, brother and sister? Fi'alun. Mudariyun, Majizumun, we had the known. So, so easy, brother. Where is the file? Wow. wow. That is hum. Kasirun minatullah. Many students did not understand. What is haza? Mafulun bihi. Did not understand this. So, this is your mafulun bihi. Huh? Because it has come after the verb. Okay, brothers and sisters. We will take a break and then we'll carry on, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we are back, brother. After our break, we carry on. Al Hussein is saying, Sa'altu, I asked, Akhwati. What is Akhwati? Mafulun bihi. Akhwata, wa huwa mudaf, ya mutakalam, mudaf ilihi. Allahi. What is Allahi? This is the plural of Allati. What is this? Plural of Allati. Like Allazi, what is the plural? Allazina. Allati, what is the plural? Allati or Allahi. Both are correct. Allati and then Allahi. They are both correct. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Let me write it down. Allati. What is the plural? Allahi Al-Lati. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yadrusna. Huh? Okay. So, now this jumla failure will be Salatul Mosul. al madrasat Thanaveti and Haza. Jar Majroor. Huh? Yad Rusna Fis Madrasatil Thanaviyati put into bracket and that is your Silatul Mosul. And Haza is connected with the main sentence. Saltu Akhwati An Haza. I asked my sisters about this. Okay, brothers and sisters. Lam Ya Rifna. Lam Ya Rifna. What is the meaning? They did not know. They did not know. Okay, brother. Lam, harfu, jazmin, wa nafiyin, wa kalbin. And what is this? Ya rifna, fi'alun, mudariyun, mabniyun ala sukun, fi mahalli, fi mahalli, jazmin. What will you say? Fi mahalli, jazmin. Because lan has come. If lan had come, we would have said fi mahalli nasbin. If nothing had come, we would have said fi mahalli rafain. Inshallah. What is Mudar is saying? 
Sa'ashrahu. I will explain. Lakum. Haza darsa. Haza is mafulun bihi. And darsa is badal. Marratan ukhra. What is the meaning of marratan ukhra? One more time. One more time. Al-ana. Zarf. Isma'u. What is Isma'u? Amar. Fero amrin mabniyun ala hazfinun. Mabniyun ala hazfinun. What is the verb, brother and sister? Tasma'una. It is coming from Tasma'una. Okay, fine, brother. Al-jumlatu lismiyatu. Hi al-jumlatu allati awwaluha ismun. Translation, brother and sisters. Jumla ismiya. It is a sentence which beginning of it is a noun. But we know that inshallah. Huh? Okay. Nahu. Example. When you see nah, it means for example. What is for example? As-sayaratu jamilatun. It is chumla ismiya. And what is in the beginning of it? A noun. Muftada. Okay. Hamidun maridun. Hamid is sick. Aminatu mujtahidatun. Amina is hardworking. Fakullu jumlatin min hadihil jumala. In every sentence from these sentences, awaluha ismun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Wahuwa. Al-Mubtida. Well, ismu thani. What is the second noun? Wahuwa khabar. We are refreshing ourselves. Al-Mubtida. Wal khabaru. Marfuani. They are both marfu. Afahimtum? Naam. Fahimna jayidan. Now again, jayidan is mafulul mutlaq. Okay, brother, then sister, here comes. Abbas is saying, Ana lamma afham. Now we studied lam. Huh? Now this is lamma. Huh? What is the meaning? Again, the meaning is in the past tense. Huh? Afham, it goes into the past tense. I did not understand yet. I did not understand yet. Huh? Are you with me? Inshallah. That is the meaning. It means he's trying, but he has not understood yet. Huh? So, Lamma will also make fail mudariya majzoom. Huh? Okay. Kulta, you said, he is telling the teacher, in al muptada wal khabara marfuani fama mana marfu. And what is the meaning of marfu? Maybe we should teach them dundan din. <laughs> okay. Al marfu hu al ismu lazi fi akhirihi dammatu. Can you translate, brothers and sisters? Marfu. It is a ism, which is in the end of it, there is a dhamma. Nahwa. Al mudarisu, al kitabu, al babu. Abbas. Al ana fahimtum. Now I understood. Now I understood. Fine. Al mudaris. Amma. See, now this amma has come. So get your marker ready for fa. Now, because you should always use the marker for some special things that happen in the sentence, so that when you are revising, it will draw your attention. Fa, you know, amma with the use of amma fa has to come. Okay, so here is it. Ammal jumlatul fi'aliyatu fahi al jumlatu. Got the idea? Fahi al jumlatu allati awwaluha. Or is it? Fialun. In the beginning of it is? Verb. 
دخل المدرس قال المدير يكتب الطالب ففي كل جملة من هذه الجمل الكلمتان الكلمة الأولى فعل وكلمة الثانية اسم وهذا الاسم الذي يأتي بعد الفعل اسمه الفاعل In every sentence of these sentences uh, there are two words the first word al kalimatu ula is verb wa kalimatu thani and the second is ism and and this ism has al ism alladhi uh, which comes baad al fi'l uh, see yati comes yati is comes baad al fi'l ismuhu al fa'il fa is so so in every so in every ha huh? okay al fa'ilu marfu'un now whether this is what we have been trying to study since the uh, lesson 4 uh, book 1 aina hamidun kharaja we started our exploration of fail and file from that moment onward ha huh? aw fahimtum at-tullab naam fahimna walhamdulillah ali ya ustad khulta qabla yawmaini what is the meaning of khulta qabla yawmaini you said it two days ago innal kalimata that truly the word is of three kinds thalasatu aqsamin ma hiya what are they hiya means they what are they ana nasitu ha huh? ana nasitu again i will go and explain you nasitu not in detail ha huh? what is the verb nasiya ha huh? we will go in detail later on it is so interesting you will love it ha huh? but right now we start with hunna so when you put hunna what happens to the lam kalima you give it a sukoon ha huh? so what happens now nasina and i always say nasina not hasina ha huh? nasina okay nasina nasita nasituma nasitum nasiti nasituma nasitunna nasitu nasina got the idea inshallah ha huh? ana nasituha so ana is mubtada nasitu fi'l fa'il ha maful'un bihi jumla fi'liya coming as a khabar man ya'rifu hadha who knows this Hashim ana i know it aqsamul kalimati ha huh? the kinds of uh, the words al ismu al fi'lu wal harfu this is the first page in your book one handout if you remember ha huh? okay brothers and sisters hmm? but at that time we just mentioned it now we can go in detail ha hati misal give example li kulli wahidin minha ya amar give an example from every one of uh, these ha huh? amar al ismu noun for example kitabun wa qalamun wa talibun wa rajulun wa mudarrisun al fi'l example for example kharaja wa sajada wa yajli su wa yagsilu wa ktub si fi'l amr ha wa qra are you with me brothers and sisters al harf what is the particle for example fi so what what are those harf jars particles fi ila 
ومن ولا نو ذات از پارٹیکل اف جواب ولن ولم وسین حرف استقبال ار یو وت می سین کما فی ساکلو ائی ول ایٹ احسنت یا امر what is the meaning of ahsanta sister manas you did well that is the you did very well or well then you can say you did well okay uh, it is a ahsana four letter verb huh? it is form four <coughs> yeah istarihu qalilan now this is sister manas is the form 10 Huh? Form 10. This is in the blue book. Uh, if you'll see this verb, istarihu, it is in your blue book with a proper example, huh? Because it, it is written in blue. I will write it down, brothers and sisters, for you. When the verb gets three. of these letters together in the beginning uh, it becomes form 10 then comes our fa kalima with a sukun and then comes ain kan what is the pattern is taf ala that is your pattern but right now we are trying to see the verb which has come in the book is the Rah. What is it? Huh? Ra. What is the root? Ra. Huh? Re, alif, and ha. And uh, alif can be vowel or ya. Huh? It is something is hidden behind alif. Huh? We are going to learn soon, inshallah. What will be the mudariya? Yes. ta ri hu is tarah he took rest yas tari hu he takes rest rahat bhi yahan se nikla hai are you with me inshallah yas tari hu okay brother and sister i think i can conjugate i will try to conjugate starting from anta first five in your pocket yastarihu tastarihu tastarihu astarihu i take rest nastarihu okay we start from tastarihu tastarihu tastari hani tastari huna tastari hina tastari hani and then tastarihna tasta rihna this ya will be dropped okay brothers and sisters so i am writing here ha huh? first let us make singular ha huh? let us make singular so suppose this is tastara i drop this ha huh? and then i have to give a sukun here so i have to drop this so what is left now i cannot pronounce so i have to get a hamza so it will become ista ri huh? if i say ista ri take rest ista ri hi monas huh? now i tell you tas ta ri tas ta ri huna are you with me brothers and sisters how do i make amar and i bring hamza is ta ri hu what is the meaning of istari ho you all take rest antum huh? okay brothers and sisters so now come on let us give it a grammatical analysis istari ho فعل امر مبنون على ازمنون 
Anvi Noon. Huh? Where is the fire? Wow, which is Antum. Huh? We drop the Noon to make the fail much zoom, but we will always say, Fialo Amrin Mabniun Ala Hazafi Noon. So out of the six we have forms. Brother, in the first form, Mabniun Ala Sukun. In the second, third, fourth, fifth form, it is Hazafi Noon. What about the sixth form? Istarihna. Istarihna. Again, Mabniun Ala Sukun. Mabriyala Sukun, because that noon in the end is the file. Huh? For, for Antunna, we will say Fialun Amrin Mabniunala Sukun. Hmm? Okay? And then noon is the file. Huh? So, it is not roughen. For surely it is not roughen. Huh? We can say judgment. Huh? Okay? But better to say Mabinun Allah Sukun for the time being.